Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to get this burgundy makeup look. I used a lot of makeup, I used mainly Makeup Geek eyeshadows and it was the first time I used it. I love them, I can't wait to get more. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. First I'm going to prime my face using the Stila One Step Primer. It does look green at first but don't worry, you're not going to look like Shrek, it's just to colour correct. For foundation, I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Jaylan. I'm applying it in sections because this foundation is very dry for my skin. I don't know if it's my skin or the foundation, but I applied it in sections to see if it would make a difference and it did not. I need to get a new foundation suitable for my skin type. For eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Filling in my eyebrows quickly, but trying not to put too much product at the front. I always make that mistake and it looks horrible. <laughs> to set the eyebrows, I'm using the Ico Brow Gel. I really like this brow gel. First time I used it and it is really nice. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to carve out the eyebrows and to prep the lid. So I'm just using a brush to carefully carve out the eyebrows, making sure I don't ruin what I already did. I've done that before where I put concealer into the eyebrow by accident. And then once I blend out all of the product, I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques sponge just to make sure there are no brush strokes. And then I forgot to show you this product, but I'm just setting the eyelids with the RCMA No Colour Powder to prevent creasing. This is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. I'm applying it above my crease, building it up slowly. Then I'm going to use the shade which is in the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to use this under the brows just to highlight the brows and to create a nice transition from that colour to the transition shade. Then I'm going to use this shade called Bitten which is by Makeup Geek. I'm going to put this in the crease. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, I love them but um, I was applying it a bit at a time, building up slowly. They were really easy to blend out to. I'm going to go back into Creme Brulee to make sure that those two colours are blended out nicely. Onto my favourite bit, this is a foiled eyeshadow called Curtain Call by Makeup Geek. I did not wet the brush. I repeat, I did not wet the brush. This eyeshadow is so nice. All of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows are nice, but the foiled ones especially, I love them. So I'm applying it with the brush first and then I loved it so much that I'm just packing more on using my finger. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline, the Eraser Eye Concealer. Putting it on with the brush, blending it out with the Real Technique sponge and then setting it with the RCMA No Colour Powder. I do not like to bake so I just quickly <laughs> wiped that off as soon as I could because my under eyes looked really dry. For the lower lash line I'm going to use Creme Brulee again and then I'm going to use Bitten on the lower lash line as well. This is a foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek called In The Spotlight and I'm going to use that for the inner corners of the eyes. I did my liquid eyeliner off camera, I used the Rommel Glam Eyes Eyeliner and now I'm going to use the Bourjois Waterproof Black Eyeliner for the waterline. For mascara, I'm going to use a telescopic, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I did this off camera. For contour, I used the NYX Wonder Stick. Sorry I'm rushing this bit, it's because my battery was about to die. Um, I tried blending it out of the sponge and it just wasn't working, so I quickly went in with a brush. And with a brush, it was so much easier to blend. Then I'm gonna use the MAC Give Me Sun to set the areas that I contoured and to warm up the face in general. Then I'm going to use the Milani Bakes Blush in Luminoso. I really like this blush, it was the first time I used it. 
for highlight, Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I loved this highlighter. I put it um, above the eyebrows as well. And I'm also gonna put it on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And I'm also gonna highlight the brow bone. For lips, I'm gonna use the LA Colors Lip Liner in the shade Natural and the NYX Lingerie in Satin Ribbon. First I'm lining the lips and I'm going to colour in the lips completely and then apply the NYX lingerie with my finger. The NYX lingerie has such a weird formulation, I didn't like, it was really dry and I, it was just really weird. But once I put it on with my finger it was a lot nicer um, and I just kept applying it until it was the colour that I wanted. To finish off I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus. I love this makeup look so much that I sat in my pyjamas all day with this full face of makeup. My mum was like, what are you doing? Because I was cleaning the house and cooking and I still had it all on. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye.